Hello buddies, today I made a special type of bread. This is another way to make your bread attractive for your customers or for your clients and it tastes so so delicious and super amazing. Okay, so I would like you to relax and watch this video to the end so you can know how to make this amazing super delicious leopard print bread. Okay, so before I move on, I want to use opportunity to say thank you to all my followers, all my subscribers for following, for commenting and liking and engaging my videos. Let's take it. So you start first by adding your flour. In your mixer bowl, you add in 500 grams of all people's flour. You can also use bread flour for this recipe. Next, you go with 65 grams of sugar and 6 grams of salt. Next, you add in 12 grams of milk powder and 4 grams of instant dry yeast. In this recipe, I use ice cold water. You add in your cold water, 270 grams of cold water. Then you mount your mixer bowl to your mixer machine and start kneading this dough. At this point, you can add in a little bit of water, about 10 grams of water. Then I also add in your butter. I added 25 grams of butter. Then as it's mixing, I keep on adding water gradually at a time. At the end, I was able to use about 290 grams of ice cold water because I use ice cold water. This um, dough took a lot of water and uh, before it got kneaded so, so well. So you need to be adding your water gradually and not too much. So once my dough was completely kneaded, super soft and elastic, I took it out from my mixer bowl and transferred onto my flat, lightly flat work surface okay like i said you always have to make sure your bread attains the window pane test just as this and once you have that you're going to go ahead and divide this dough into three parts one part should be bigger followed by the next and then the next like big bigger biggest or small smaller smallest <laughs> so once you are done doing that you take the one that is um okay this bigger abby yes the bigger you take the bigger one and then make it into a chocolate or a brown bread okay now you're going to start rolling it out this way i cut it into about um 12 to 10 pieces and then to, uh, mold it into long stripes just as you see in the video then the smallest one or the um the big one you kind of add a black food color to it and then make it into um cut it also into 12 or to 10 places the number you cut the brown one is still the number you're going to cut the black one okay then you're going to roll it out just as you see in the video so when you roll it out you're going to place the brown one on top and use it to fold it use the black one to wrap around the brown one it's not necessary that it's going to cover it so well let it just wrap around it then the other one the white one which is the biggest of all you're going to divide it into two um, on equal parts so one part you're going to roll it flat just as you see in the video cut it all this way I use it to wrap up the brown and the black one just as you see in the video make sure you use it to cover the black one make sure it covers the black and the brown one just as you see in the video so you place it on each one and cover it just this way if you don't want to roll it flat and cut it this way you can just move it into round then uh, roll it out and then use it to cover it just make sure you use it to cover the dough that's all okay now once you are done the last part of the white one you're going to roll it out because you want to use this to cover all the bread that you have um bring together okay you roll it out very flat and uh, um large or big just this way then you're going to get the ones that you've packed together you carry it and then place on top of this white one just this way when you want to place it, place it upside down. Then use this white one to cover or to wrap it just this way. Now you're going to transfer this into your lightly greased um, baking pan. I use my 
11 by 4 inches loaf pan. Cover this and let it proof for up to 3 hours or so. So once it's proven, you're going to bake in your preheated oven at 180 degrees for 45 to 50 minutes or according to your oven temperature. Once it's out of the oven and it's still hot, you brush the top with either butter or margarine and then take it out from the pan, let it cool down completely and you are ready to enjoy this bread. To keep your bread ever moist, you're going to wrap it up so that it doesn't dry out and then you have these amazing designs inside of your bread guys this is a simple way to make leopard print bread <music>